Jail Appeal sent us the new Sparkle Bead Station so we could craft some jewelry for our dolls. You can find this Jail Appeal set at your local retailer. And with this set, you can make over 100 simple beads. It also includes over 26 design templates, a bead station, three small gel tubes, four designer tips, and accessory hardware. Pick a color and a designer tip, draw and wait for it to dry, peel and string your beads, wear it and share it. There are also so many more colors available and they have a new glow in the dark gel. So let's open it up and start crafting jewelry for our dolls. Here is everything out of the box and everything you need to get started. You have your bead station, you have your purple sparkle gel, your sea foam sparkle gel, and your pink sparkle gel. You have four tips, three regular tips, and then one line tip. You also have your cleaning tool, and this comes in handy when you're designing also. You have jewelry cord, pink and blue. They're each five feet long. And then you have your template. It does have a front and a back. It shows you how to make beads. It also shows you how to make rings and little pencil grips. And last you have two jump rings and two earrings. So this should be fun. Now this is your bead station. And what's really cool about it is it opens up. So as you can see, there's rods in here. So it has storage for your rods, but also you can pop out the rods and you can use all of them while you're crafting. You just set them along here and it's like a little drying station and they can all be full with your gel beads. This right here is a wheel so you can turn and rotate the rods as you design your beads. And on the side, you'll find your ring wheel. This is the wheel that you'll design your rings on. So to get started, you'll need your gel tubes and your tips. When you open up these gel tubes, you'll find a plug in it. This plug is to protect it so the gel doesn't dry out. So you'll wanna keep it, don't discard it, because when you're done, you'll need to plug it back up until next time. Now choose a tip and just screw it on, and you are ready to design. Let's go make something. Take your tube of gel and gently, evenly squeeze out the gel onto the rod. At the same time, use your other hand to rotate the wheel. That way the rod spins around and you complete your bead. It might take a few tries to get the hang of it, so you might need to wipe and try again. If you're making beads with more than one color in it, like I'm doing right here, you'll need to make sure each layer of the gel is touching each other. So the blue is touching the pink, is touching the purple. And before you apply the next color, give it about five minutes to dry in between. This way, the first color slightly dries before you add the second color. This is fun because you can play around with your beads. You can do skinny beads, you can do triple color beads, you can do really thick beads, spiral beads, and you can reinforce it by doing double thick layer beads. If you do the double layer beads, you need to make sure the first layer is completely dry before adding the second layer. Right here, we're gonna try out some spikes. Oh, it's a little tricky. So I've put my first rod in the drying station and I'm changing rods now. This rod is a little bit smaller and I think it's the perfect size to make rings for our American Girl dolls. I'm gonna do this blue sparkle so it looks like a platinum ring and I'm gonna add a jewel of my own, stick it right on top and let it dry into the gel. This is a test, we'll see if it works. Depending on your design, the dry time is between one and five hours, so don't rush it and let it dry. Remember to plug your tubes when you're done so they don't dry out, and then you can take this cleaning tool and clean out the tips. Look at that, it's so cool. I bet we could make several shapes with this gel. Okay, dry time is over. Now it's time to remove the beads. You want to gently remove the beads from the rod. You don't want to pull it because the gel will rip. If your beads ever rip at any point in the future, you can repair them by using gel on the ripped part. Here is our ring. It's so tiny and it's so cute. It's adorable and it's sparkly. So here are some of the beads that we made on our rods. As you can see, we did a lot of really tiny ones so we can make a bracelet for our doll. We made this gorgeous ring. Now just string your beads on to your elastic cord for your bracelet and tie it around your doll's wrist. Let's put it on. 
So here's our doll modeling the Jellapill bracelet, and it matches her outfit. Here's the ring, let's see if it fits. Just gonna pull it over her pointy finger, and it does! It's amazing, it's so cute. Just look at that sparkle. Bling. Give this video a thumbs up if you like to make your own jewelry and leave us a comment with what you'd like to make your doll with the new Gel Appeal Sparkle Bead Station. And as always, subscribe to become an AGI Crafter.